Chapter 6, Mishnah 4. The Mishnah continues to discuss the laws of the harlot's payment, Esna and Zona, and the dog's exchange, Mechir Kelev. If someone gave coins to a harlot instead of giving her an animal, they are permitted to be used to buy korbanos. But if he gave her wine, oil, or flour, which are items that can be offered on the Mizbeach, or any similar item that can be offered on the Mizbeach, it is forbidden to be offered. If he gave her items that are already consecrated, they are permitted to be offered because one can make only his own property forbidden and not the property of heaven. If he gave her unconsecrated birds, they are forbidden to be offered because, like animals, birds are fit to be offered on the Mizbeach. The Mishnah explains why it had to add that birds are forbidden. For the following logic would have told us that birds do not become forbidden if consecrated animals, which are disqualified by a blemish, are not subject to the disqualifications of the harlot's payment or dog's exchange, as the Mishnah taught above, then birds, which are not disqualified by a blemish, should surely not be subject to the disqualifications of the harlot's payment or dog's exchange. To teach us otherwise, the Torah in Devarim 23 verse 19 states, You shall not bring a harlot's payment or dog's exchange for any vow. The word any is added to include even a bird, which, like an animal, can be brought as a voluntary vow, under the laws of a harlot's payment and a dog's exchange.